Hey, this is Les from Comfortable Shoes Studio, and welcome to Art Making 26 Relief Calligraph Poster. So in the upper left of the video, you can see that uh, I am mixing the ink. I didn't realize how dark the ink slab corner was until I looked at the video, and it was super grainy. Um, so I miniaturized it so it wasn't terrible to look at. And um, there we go. So I am mixing a transparent blue to as my third color on this three color or four color print. So the yellowy pasty stuff is transparent base and I added way too much blue because this professional printing ink is super pigmented and it's a beautiful color but wasn't quite as transparent as I was really hoping it would be. Um, so the process in that that ink slab corner is called waking up the ink um, and I am carefully kind of smooshing the ink around and adding a little bit of transparent base at a time um, just to get a thorough mix. And you just smoosh it, flip it, squish it, flip it over and over and over again. Then you roll it out onto your uh, block. And that is how you ink it. So um, in this case, this is a relief collagraph. It's considered a collagraph because I'm using recycled materials and paper instead of some other matrix for printing. And so it's a relief print because the surface that I'm printing from is raised. So in this case, um, I'm using mat board that was donated to the studio and I have a lot of it. So we're making some relief calligraph prints and they, they print beautifully. They, you get a really nice texture um, depending on the mat board you're using. You can use any kind of mult, like layered or thick kind of card to do this. You need some, some depth to it so that you're not rolling ink into the recesses. Um, that's a whole other different type of printmaking. Um, so in this case, um, I'm using the mat board. It's poster size. So I think that this is actually like a 15 by 24 inch or close to that print. Um, they, the paper size is 18 by 24, so probably the actual block is fifth. Paper is 18 by 24. The, the print itself is probably 18 by 20, or 15 by 20, rather. That's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, it's going through the Conrad press. Uh, you can see the press bed coming out here. I do use one felt on top of it, and that's just to protect, protect the roller from anything that might be stuck in there. Um, it's not likely that there's anything stuck in there. I would have caught it as I was rolling out the ink and whatnot. Um, I also pack it, it because it's a relief print. I want something hard on top of it. So I've got this, um, thick cardboard. It's not cardboard, cardboard with the corrugated. It is cardboard. So it's just like a thick card. It's like the backing to a sketchbook. So I've got several layers of that and that provides a good, um, surface for the roller to get a good impression. Um, and so you can see the ink is also very sticky. This is not the first print that I've done. So I, what I found with these calligraph prints uh, using matte board, the, the matte board is uh, shellacked for better ink release. Um, you get a much better print on the second or third try than the first print. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. I like how the layers are doing. You can't see it. It's a paintbrush with some letters hidden inside. Um, I don't know, I dig it. There's some words hidden in there. I accidentally wrote some of the letters backwards, so I'm going to be re reworking some of that. Um, yeah, so anyway, it's a fun process. And uh, if you have access, you don't, actually don't have to have a press to do this. This is a very easy inexpensive method of printmaking that you can do by hand. You get a really good impression by hand on this. Um, you can also do this much, much smaller. I'm going to do another demonstration showing a uh, different press method, um, <clears throat> but much smaller, like postcard size. So um, yeah, Relief relief Calligraph are, is one of my favorite ways of printmaking because it's so cheap and accessible. Here we go with yet another reveal. This is the best part of printmaking, I think. Mm. 
And you can see how sticky that ink is. Super sticky. Great stuff. The other, the other great aspect about the ink is that it is water washable. So a little soap, a little water, and it slides off of anything. Anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you. And uh, if you like what I do, hit that thumbs up, star, or subscribe, and all of that fun stuff. Thanks, everyone. Bye.